Hey guys, it is your girl Nora, the Stock Explorer. Today we're going to go to the moon, to the moon that is maybe safe, to the moon that is maybe not safe, okay? But I'm going to show you a strategy that can be a somewhat safer way to play safe moon. Now, if you haven't heard of it, of course it's blowing up now. It is trending. It is safe moon coin, okay? It is a DeFi token. It's not a cryptocurrency. It's a DeFi token. You can go to their website, which is safemoon.net. If you go to forward slash guide and scroll down, you won't see it until you scroll down towards the bottom. And it says how to buy SafeMoon. You see this on the left hand side. You got to get the pancake swap flippity flop. Okay. You got to download the app called Trust Wallet. And then you got to purchase BNB or BSC. Okay. Now, what is that? Well, BNB is the coin that is from uh, Binance.us. Okay. If you're in Binance, you can buy the Binance coin. And I have some of the Binance coin. Okay. I threw $500 into Binance about 10 days ago. And I'm a little over $800 now because I bought some BNB, I bought some Litecoin, I bought some Dogecoin, and a couple other really small uh, altcoins because I want to kind of get used to the altcoins and learn more about them guys this is what's trending so this is what i'm going to bring to you guys my channel is normally stock investing however a lot of people are interested in how this process works and what even this stuff is so i want to show you what it is now when you go over uh to binance to buy bnb token so that you can go on to the next step over at pancakeswap you want to go ahead and grab this one. BNB token is now at $505, okay? So you most likely will get a fraction of a BNB coin, okay? And then once you have that in your wallet, you can use that as currency to go ahead and trade that for some of these other very, very small uh, brand new altcoins okay let's look over at pancake swap if you have never heard of it uh it is where you can trade out one coin for another okay now when you scroll down here in the exchange you can see that you can exchange the bnb which is right here to safe moon and there is a drop down menu and there is many many other choices see you can get ada alice alpa alpaca they're alphabetically listed here if you scroll all the way down into the s's you'll see safe moon right there okay you go ahead put how many uh BNB you want to trade and then you'll get like a bazillion safe moon because it's it's well well under a penny a share it's like point oh 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 blah 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 like it's very 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 tiny amount you can get like a ton of it for one penny okay so I click on unlock wallet it will let you go ahead and make that exchange and then you will have the safe moon my thing with the safe moon is they charge you 10 percent when you sell it now personally I'm not interested in paying 10% to sell something. If you want to trade something, of course, you're going to be selling quite frequently and buying it and selling it, okay? And if you get hit with 10% fee every time, uh, I don't think that's a good big business practice, but they are raising money and trying to build it up, and I get it. But at this point in time, I have to look at what is the utility of SafeMoon, and I don't see a whole lot of use for it yet, other than you buy it to sell it at a later time for a higher price. But just keep in mind, you are paying 10% to do that. So for that reason, I'm out right now. But I may change my mind in the future if it starts to gain momentum and pick up speed and get picked up by, say, Binance or some other... Uh, crypto brokers where it starts to gain momentum and maybe gets over a penny it will get more of my attention but for now I'm not doing the pancake swap flippity flop okay I'm not interested 
as of yet, but I think a lot of people are going to make money on it, and that's great. It's just not my thing. I'm more of a Dogecoin person. If you look at how long ago Dogecoin came out, it has put the work in. It's put the work in to get to where it was today. Uh, Safe Moon has just dropped, I believe, in March, first quarter of 2021. I'm sorry, Safe Moon, but you have not put the work in yet to get my hard-earned money. But that is just my opinion. I want to show you guys how to do this if this is something you're interested in. Like I always say, don't risk more than 2% on speculative plays. And this would absolutely be a speculative play if you want Safe Moon. But... My strategy for it is to just go ahead, get a Binance account. I have the link down in the description and I'll pin it in the comments. Guys, you can sign up for safe for, uh, I'm sorry, for Binance with my link. And then once you get all your information in there after a couple days, uh, you put some money in there, let that clear and you can buy this BNB coin, which is right here. And since a lot of people are buying it in order to go to PancakeSwap, I believe the price will go up because this actually does have utility. It can be used. It is useful. And I think if you just want to buy BNB as your sort of safe moon play that is more safe, that would be my recommendation going forward if you don't want to get into these super, super, super risky uh, crypto plays. Some people think Doge is very super risky, but I think it has moved its way up on the food chain a lot higher than uh, where we are sitting with these very, very brand new uh, altcoins or DeFi coins. Okay, guys, so just be safe. I know everybody would love to become a millionaire by getting in on something early, but sometimes the shiny new object is not something that you should chase after. So be careful when you're chasing after these new things that come up. Okay. Now today, Bitcoin sitting at 50,662, Ethereum's at 2261, and BNB is at 503. Any of these choices, I feel as though, would be a bit of a safer bet when it comes to uh, Safe Moon. But it is your choice and just be responsible when you do these type of things. Think about what percentage of your portfolio you're putting into these risky positions. Okay, guys, I hope you like my ideas. If you have any questions about any of this, please drop a comment. Just know I have not purchased any safe moon i don't own it so i can't really answer too many questions as far as that is considered but this is the basics of how to get it if you are interested in it and it is something people are interested in and i appreciate that and if you have an experience with it or you've made a lot of money with it i'd like to hear about it please drop a comment in the comment section and guys don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe i'll talk to you soon peace Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.